This hillside is jam-packed with macaroni penguins and virtually nothing else. There are some 80,000 of them here. But even this vast assemblage is only a tiny proportion of the total population of South Georgia, which is estimated to be more than 10 million. It's an astonishing demonstration of the fact but although the Antarctic is virtually lifeless over vast areas, there are one or two small oases that teem with life. After spending the winter wandering around the northern fringes of the Southern Ocean, the macaronis return with remarkable punctuality. In just 10 days, the terraces of this empty stadium become packed tight. The males come first, the females a week later. The macaroni is very much the penguin of the northern rim of the Antarctic. Very few of them venture farther south than these sub-Antarctic islands. But here, they constitute over 50% of all the seabirds. At the moment, at the beginning of the breeding season, they're squabbling noisily as each pair fights to hold its own tiny nest site. Each new arrival has to make its way through a barrage of pecks from outraged nest owners. Macaronis must be the noisiest and most bad-tempered of all penguins, and sometimes the fights can be really vicious. Eventually, a female finds her male and is rewarded with a greeting display and a comforting preen. Ten days later, she's produced two eggs. But remarkably, one of them, the darker, smaller one, is nearly always abandoned. Why is not certain. It may perhaps be an insurance against the loss of the bigger one. 